Millstone Fanatic. You're about to meet six contestants who all claim to be the ultimate film fanatic of the Southwest, but there can be only one. And since we can't fit a steel cage in this room, we're going to put them through a grueling gauntlet, testing their knowledge, their attitude, and their obsession. At the end of the show, one fanatic will be left standing, the other five will get a ticket home. We've searched, auditioned, and tested people from all over the country. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the six finalists of the Southwest. From Fort Worth, Texas, Derek Williams. I'm going to win because I've seen the Goonies over 150 times, and that alone should win me five grand. From Phoenix, Arizona, Chris Spano. I'm going to win because unlike most children whose first memories is seeing the faces of their parents, my first memory is seeing the face of Han, Luke, and the lovely Princess Leia. Yeah. Also from Phoenix, Eric Francis. I'm going to win because my little girl Madison knows daddy always comes home with a gift for her. This one's for you, little girl. Yeah. From Tempe, Arizona, Sean Scores. I'm going to win because I always get the best seat in the theater. From Phoenix, Arizona, Mark Bear. I'm going to win because my friends, family, and co-workers have told me for years that I know more about movies than anyone in the world. Well, let's find out. From Gilbert, Arizona, Chad Tomasi. I'm going to win because I've annoyed my friends, I've alienated my family, now it's their turn. Welcome. Tonight, one of you will get five grand in cash and a chance to compete in our final championship against the other regional winners. If you are named the ultimate film fanatic of the entire United States, you'll get an additional five grand and a chance to host IFC for a day. Now, any basic screenwriting course will tell you the least important characters die in the first reel. This show is no different. Fanatics, welcome to the first cut. Challenge your cinematic knowledge in a series of sudden death head-to-head -head battles. Win, and you get a ticket to round two. Lose, you get a ticket home. We've paired our players up according to their preliminary test scores. Chad and Mark, you're up first. Come on over here. Okay. Here's how this is going to work. On this board, you'll see three categories all related to movies. Each category has eight progressively more difficult questions. Get one wrong, you're gone. Survive, you're moving on. Let's take a look at our categories. Death becomes Kevin Spacey. We've also got monkey movies. And our final category, films set in the future. Okay, who won the coin toss backstage? That'd be me, Chris. Chad, okay. You can eliminate something from the board. What looks scary to you? You know what, I'm going death becomes Kevin Spacey. It's that. All right, it's gone. Now, why? Are you not a Kevin Spacey fan? No, I'm hoping I get monkey movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mark, you may also eliminate one from the board. Okay, this is going to be a tough one, especially given the information I've just been given. Let's lose the monkeys. Monkeys is gone. We're playing films set in the future. What movie set in the year 2019 stars Harrison Ford as a character named Rick Deckard? The answer would be Blade Runner. That is correct. Grab a hold of that ticket. Okay, Mark, what action film star played an ex-soldier turned cab driver in the overblown futuristic bomb, The Fifth Element? Bruce Willis. That is correct. Grab a hold of that ticket. Okay, Chad, in what futuristic movie does Kevin Costner process then drink his own piss? Oh. Gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna have to go with Waterworld. That is correct. Tickets back to you. That was like the only good thing about that movie. We got to see Kevin Costner drink his own piss. Mark, what Woody Allen movie introduced the futuristic invention, the orgasmatron? Sleeper. That's correct. Grab a hold of that ticket. Okay, Chad, you're getting a lot harder. What song does Malcolm McDowell sing while he's kicking the crap out of the writer in a clockwork orange? I'm not gonna know. It's singing in the rain. Oh. It's right on the 
the tip of your tongue. What? That means, Mark, you're moving on to round two. Take a seat on the production chairs over here. Chad, you're a great sport, mm. um, but you're not going away empty handed. Got a little something for you. Megan, here's your ticket home. Goodbye, Chad. One down, two to go. Sean and Eric, you're up next. Come on over here. Okay. So the categories on the board that just won't go away. Death becomes Kevin Spacey. Monkey movies. Let's take a look at our new category. Movie taglines. Now, who won the coin toss backstage? That would be me. Sean, great. That means you go first. So which would you like to eliminate from the board? Monkey movies. Monkey movies is gone. I love monkey movies. Are you just not a fan of monkey movies or? Just not sure about that one. Okay, all right. <laughs> Eric, which would you like to take off the board? I say death to death becomes Kevin Spacey. Okay, so we're playing movie taglines. Okay, Sean, first question is to you. I'm gonna give you a year, then I'm gonna tell you the tagline. You tell me the movie. Okay. Real simple, you ready? Mm-hmm. 1979, in space, no one can hear you scream. That's Alien. Alien's correct. Great job. That means you've earned yourself a ticket to round two. Hang on to it, because I know Eric wants it. The year, 1998. Size does matter. That would be Godzilla. That is correct. Grab a hold of the ticket. Okay, Sean, 1998. He's gonna party like it's 1985. Back to the Future 3. No, no, I'm sorry. It's the wedding singer. That means, Eric, you're moving on to round two. Take a seat in one of our director chairs over here. I hate to do this to you, right. but the lovely Megan has a little present for you. We should take it home. Thank you. Later, Sean.